My little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Here I was, hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Here, this belongs to you. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... well, he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Crikey. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the Luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the Luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. 
That's his star, right there. How can you be the luminary too? I, I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand, really I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye. <laughs> well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodore? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. Just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating thin in. <laughs> I mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries, of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalkney, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must... Oh. When you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Oh, you are terrible! Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. Oh, no, I'm only joking, of course, the very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes, no. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. 
Take this map of Erdrio with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. May this magnificent steed, the pride of cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. With you, I I made it for you. It will keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't don't forget us, will you? Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you.
Halt! Not so fast. State your business. <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. Oh, yeah. Oh. What's that? You want to show that pendant to the king, you say? Uh, do you mind waiting here a minute? Huh? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you. Close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. The jewel of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. How long have I waited for this day? And now, finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. I take it that you also bear the mark? Of light. Then there is no doubt. You are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. <laughs> Tell me, O oh luminary, where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. I see. Cobblestone, you say. Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. 
a village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Yes, my liege. Cursed luminary! I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed! <laughs> Hendrik! Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon! Know this! The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His... Did you really think you could fool one as wise as his majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. Men, seize this wretch! Be so paranoid. You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. By then, Jasper will have returned from his investigation. If I were you, Dark Spawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. Hmm. 